Hey everyone, and welcome to From Books to Big Screen. This is episode 6, The Fault in Our Stars. The Fault in Our Stars came out out in theaters back in 2014. I remember I was about a freshman or sophomore in high school at the time, and it was based off of a novel which was published back in 2012. And I remember um, at the time of the movie release, there was like a lot of hype, especially in the media and like talk around school about the book and movie, mainly because girls in high school were obsessed with the actor Ansel Elgort who played Gus which is one of the main characters and I had like lots of friends that actually read the book and wanted to see the movie with me once it was released so I decided to join in and read the book so I could see the movie with them which never really ended up happening anyway I ended up watching it with my mom and the book was so good I got my mom and sister to read it too Um, But this is one of the rare occasions where the book and the film were actually very similar to one another. And I remember renting the movie with my mom at home. And at the end, we were talking about it. And we were both saying how we were really happy that the director, Josh Boone, kept kept the author, John Green's, vision of the story essentially the same. And there were a few differences that I noticed in the movie. Well... There was a few, but they weren't things major. So the first thing was that Hazel did not visit Isaac in the hospital, which she did in the book. Uh, It was a little bit bothersome because it made Hazel's character seem like she didn't really care about Isaac when in actuality she did. But I think the film really did show that she cared about him by the amount of times and scenes that they were together and and with Gus and especially the scene where they egg the house and the car and just their friendship in general. So cutting out that part of the story was not something that affected the plot that much. There is one big difference that I actually don't mind that I remember some people were upset about was that the movie and the director Josh Boone decided to cut out the character of Caitlin and in the book she was referenced a few times. She was friends with Hazel and she would often like gossip with her about Gus and like clothes and life and stuff. But I felt like eliminating her character made sense because you didn't really need her to understand Hazel and Gus's relationship, but you did need her in the book because they really did give up details when they were gossiping um, about Gus. But in the movie, you could see it for yourself. You did not need to be re-shown that with this character. Another large scene cut out of the film, which was kind of bothersome, was when Hazel and Mrs. Lancaster, in the book, they heard Gus crying and yelling at his mom before they left for Amsterdam, which greatly, greatly foreshadowed the um, part where Gus, his cancer comes back. And in the movie, they cut that entire scene out. And... I was kind of confused why the director decided to do this, so I found an interview that he did with Vulture a few years ago, and he talked about the whole entire movie, and there was one part where he said that he had not read the book before writing the movie, and he has since, but he hadn't then, and he didn't know anything that was going to happen, like he didn't know how he was going to um, write it, but he assumed a lot of people in the audience would know the ending already based on the book, so he did not see that coming, that people would be upset with some of the changes. And all in all, I really enjoyed this book and this movie. It was one of my favorites, like, that I've read growing up. It And I think it's good for all ages. It wasn't like one of the ones that's basically a little rom-com for teenagers. I remember my mom loved it. My friends, everybody loved it. And this, I was really excited to see that this was one of the few times that the director, Josh Boone, actually decided to stay true to the original plot that, of the novel that was written by John Green. And I haven't been able to find an interview or an article about John Green talking about the adaptation. Um, But I always wondered if he approves of it or not. I'm pretty sure he does because I remember when I used to... 
I think I used to follow him on Instagram. He posted like promotional videos about it. He seemed very excited. So I always wondered what that whole ordeal is about. But I highly recommend both the book and the movie. And I always recommend that you should read the book first because it really gives you the idea of the plot before the film. And this has been episode six, The Fault in Our Stars. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.